Hello there and welcome to another Vicon motion capture tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make use of our new MetaHuman preset script, which automates the process of setting up a retarget from a performer onto the MetaHuman skeleton in Shogun Post. This works for both Epic's MetaHuman and Mannequin models, which you'll need to export yourself from either Unreal Engine or MetaHuman. Please note that this process is only possible in Shogun 1.8 and onwards. If you need help retargeting to MetaHuman in an earlier version of Shogun, please do visit our channel for further retargeting tutorials. If you are using Shogun 1.8, you first need to download our most recent VSS fixes, as these address some known bugs that can affect retargeting. These won't be necessary if you are using a release after Shogun 1.8. You can grab these scripts from our website by going to Software, Models and Scripts, and then coming down to VSS. These files should then be moved to the following two folders. Your Shogun Live Configuration Model Templates folder and your Shogun Post Model Templates folder. Please be sure to overwrite all files in both locations. Now let's head back to the Vicon website and get the actual preset script for MetaHuman. Simply go to Models and Scripts on our Downloads page and scroll down to the MetaHuman section. Please then drop these scripts into your Public Document Scripts folder, usually located at the address shown on screen now. And with that done, we are good to run Shogun Post. So first of all, we need to make sure we've got some data that we then want to retarget over to MetaHuman. In this example, I'm just using a ROM, and if we scrub along the timeline from start to finish, we can see there's plenty of motion in this file, which will be useful to validate whether the retarget is then working. Now let's open up our subject setup panel, head over to the retargeting tab and click the import button. We grab our UE5 MetaHuman FBX and in just a few moments the FBX is imported. Now if you don't see anything at first, please make sure to open up your view filters and ensure that the retarget is visible. With both skeletons in Shogun Post, now let's open up the script editor. And then all we need to do at this point is enter the name of the script we wish to run. In this case, that's setup retarget to UE5 mannequin. We then hit run and in just a few seconds, the script will be applied. Now we need to actually update the retarget. So back in the subject setup panel, we click retarget over play range and apply it to the entire range of this take. How long this requires really varies on a few things such as your PC specs and the length of the take that you are applying the retarget to. Once that's done, we can scrub along the timeline and see the retarget in action. In barely a minute of having open Shogun Post, we now have data nicely retargeting from our performer onto MetaHuman. Many of our Shogun users make heavy use of Epic Games' Unreal Engine and MetaHuman, so a small tip that can save you a bit of time when doing this in future is to save this script in a button. To do this, let's come up to our toolbar, right click and select Add Tab. I'm going to call this Retargeting, but you can call it whatever you wish. Now right click on this new toolbar, select Add Button, and we're going to name this MetaHuman. In the command string, we simply add the script that we ran in the script editor earlier. Let's just reset our scene really quickly to make sure this all works. Here's the ROM that I used earlier. Here's our mannequin skeleton. Now when we click the button we just created, we can see the retarget has been set up. We once again apply that to the full play range. And we're done, and looking pretty great. So that's how you can set up a MetaHuman retarget in Shogun Post nice and quickly, a process which would have taken much longer in previous versions. If you are interested in applying this retarget in a live environment, 
please do check our official documentation and stay tuned to our YouTube channel, where we will soon be sharing further tutorials on this subject. We would love to hear your feedback, so please do leave us a comment below or contact our support team if you need further assistance. Thank you for watching.